Hello, and uh, thank you for being part of this from the beginning. And today I'm going to share with you how to get your competitors keywords. So if you are into Amazon, you hear that people complain that uh, the market is saturated, there's a lot of competition, there's a lot of ABC, whatever it is, pe people are always complaining. So there's a way that you can actually get your competitors keywords. So you can get your competitors keywords and uh, you can rank and also make an impact with that. So today I'm going to show you literally how, let me use this term, how to steal your competitors keywords. And uh, also in three months, you can start ranking if you place the keywords well. So let's go to the dashboard and uh, we'll see whatever we have there. So first of all, you come to Amazon and uh, based on whichever competition that you are or whichever niche that you are publishing, you can always find the top sellers. So what you do is that you always find the top people who are ranking on the top page of Amazon who are in your niche. So let's say you want to publish coloring books. So what you do is, if it is, let's say, Christmas coloring books. Christmas, is that how we spell Christmas this, this? Christmas coloring books. Coloring books for adults. So what you do is you search for Christmas coloring books. So you see that the books that appear here are the books that you should be targeting. So this one has 35,000. Yes, this one has 3,500, 3, 3,738 BSR. So you should be targeting that, the top books. So if you are also into maybe notebooks, let's say notebooks. Okay, so you should be targeting books that are here on which maybe this ones and on the first page. What you should not target is books that are sponsored. So if you see a book that is sponsored, don't even target it because it's sponsored and the ranking is not accurate. They pay more money to be ranked there. So we just need, all you just need to do. So let's go back to the item book. So I'm gonna publish, and we're gonna till the competition of adult coloring books. Hey. Why is this thing messing me up? So it's adult coloring book. So we're going to pick competition. Uh, look at this competition. So we're not going to target this because it's sponsored. Then we'll look at books that has lowest BSR ranks. So it simply means this book is selling a lot and then the price is 6.98. So we can also design books to sell at 6.98. $98. We can also target this. You can see this one is also selling a lot. BSR of two, three, four, four, and it's making a lot of sales. So, but in today's presentation, let's target this and get the BS, uh, the, uh, the competition, the keywords from this book. So all you need to do is to get the BS a a ASIN. See this ASIN? So this is what we need. So this is the ASIN. And there are two different places. You may not have this plugin, but I, I can show you where to get it. So once you open the book, you click on the book. There are two places you can get the ASIN. There are two places you can get the ASIN. So the ASIN is, so it's a 10 keyword, like 10 words. So mostly sometimes numbers, sometimes a combination of alphabets and, uh, numbers so this is the ASIN that we're looking for so this is it you can also get it here in the details product details so this is the same ASIN we are looking for so all you just need to do is to grab this ASIN and this is what we are going to use to do track and see the number of people who are searching for this book and the search terms they are using to search for this book so to make it simple we just go on top here and copy this one. Copy it, and you are good to go. So the next phase of 
this is that you go to, you look for a particular site, which is Helium 10. You type in Helium 10 on Google and you click on, just look for the helium10.com. So these are all ads when you open, people will get commission, but we're not looking for this. We're looking for Helium 10. So Helium 10. So this is how Pretty Sure is going to look like. Then you sign up. All you just do to do is you sign up. So I'm going to sign up a new account and I'm going to use that for this presentation. So all you do is you put in your name, maybe your name and uh, your email. I'm going to use I am Empire 10, it's my official email. And I'm going to use, um, just create a password. Just create a password that you use for this. And you agree and you sign up. So once you sign up, if it's successful, they'll let you know, but you have to go to your email and confirm. And confirm. Okay, so they're saying that what? Okay, so once you you have that, they just then you, you confirm straight you are in helium 10 so once you come to helium 10 all what you need to do is you look for cerebro so once you are in helium 10 you look for this particular uh, feature which is cerebro so this is what you look at for and you click on it so there are different things that you can use helium 10 for you can use our key keyword researches other stuff but in today's presentation we're using for we are looking for this one cerebro and you can get it here or sometimes if you are lost and you don't know you just come here and do keyword research you look at it here and cerebro ASIN lookup we want to look for, up for the ASIN so you click on it and the beautiful thing is that this is a paid app uh, soft uh, site, but you don't need to pay to do this. You can get searches like every day. You can do two searches, like two searches per day using this method. So they only give you access to check like for two books every day with the free uh, free plan. You can just do this searches too. So in a day, if you are publishing one book, like any one learning book. You can do two searches, pick two books and search for their keywords. That is not bad. So we pick one book. So once we have our ASIN, what you do is that you copy the ASIN. You can copy it here or copy it over at this side. The ISBN. We'll try that as the ISBN. Ten word I ten number ISBN. Sometimes there are alphabets there. Then you come to what? You put it product ASIN, you put it on the search bar here. So once you put it in here, the ASIN, you get keywords here. So you just click on get keywords. So it's going to compile the keywords that you have. And this is the free plan. I'm not paying for this. You can see it's telling me that it has brought the search and the search uh, remaining today is one. So I can only do another search today. So let's look at the keywords that they've given us. They filtered over 1,077 keywords for our competitors. And this is a beautiful aspect of it. So once you see, so we are seeing all the keywords people are searching in for, get our competitors' products and services, like to buy this book, to buy this book to make it rank on top. So this is what it's ranking on top. People are buying this a lot. And these are all the keywords they are using to buy that. So if you also, you see that if you also have these keywords, you better rank well. So this is the analysis of the keywords. Total keywords, 477, 4,077. Organic keywords are like 3,787. And Amazon has recommended four, two, three keywords for this particular book. And they are not sponsoring this book. So imagine you just publish a book, you're not sponsoring it, and it picks up organically. You can only do that if you know the keywords. So these are the keywords. 
you can see the cerebral score they're giving this adult color adult coloring book sometimes people don't type in the real keywords they type in based on their language maybe it's french or spanish but this uh, the adult or whatever is in english like the book is in english so people repeatedly using adult adult u d u d l t to search for coloring books if you don't know this so if you put in this your keywords the possibility is that they will find your book because they are typing adults meanwhile our concentration is on adults so you can see that has brought this and the cerebral score is 1890 and the search volume for this every month is 342 and we have competing products which who are ranking for this keywords 181 products so all you need to do is the search volume is important to me so then the competition these are the two so once you see and uh, coloring books for adults you can see this one this one all these things are ranking once you see and you like and you feel like you can use that what do you do you just go up here export and you do excel we need the excel file you ex download it so once you download it, you see it is here it will download it for you to have a better viewing of it and for you to select keywords that are ranking and you delete those that are not working well for you so i'm going to open the okay so this is it so this is the excel document with all the keywords that we want so this is the excel document with all the keywords so this you can see how they are so this is the cerebral cere uh, cerebral score they give it a score to let you know whether it is profitable or not but most of the times i don't look at that so all i need to do is you need to look at is the search volume and the competing products the search volume and the competing products so if the search volume is high if the search volume is high and the competing products are low you can also like make an impact so you can see this one, the search volume is 342 every month and the competing products are 181. So it's a good, you may, it's good for you because you can make some sales here. This one, color books for adults. The search volume is 306, 3,631 and the competing products are 60,000. So if it is okay with you, you can pick it, but that is too high for me. So I come here, so this is good coloring books for adults relaxation. So the search volume is what? 4, 455, no, 4,549 and the competing products are 10,000. So this one, you can also use this one to rank a little. So you keep on doing that. So if you find something like this one, which has like no search volume, you just delete it. Okay, then you go here, it is okay for me. This one is too high but you can still leave it if you want. This one, color relaxation, 270, 270, search volume 10,000 is too, okay, it's too high. So I delete it. You do that until you get, so all these three, this one, okay, this is okay, 227, 2000, you leave it. This one, it's, uh, competition is too high, you delete it. So those that have like lower score, and higher competition, you delete them, and leave the ones that are selling more in terms of low competition and more sales. So this one's like this, you do that. And so once you are certain, you delete some of the ones that you don't want. And once you are certain, but it gives you an idea of what people are searching for, and why the book is ranking. So once you like it, you just copy all of them. You can copy all of them, and use another tool to receive them and to get the best keywords. So once you get the keywords, you can use the same, there's another tool here, which is called the, the Frankenstein tool. It's called Frankenstein tool. So it's called Frankenstein. So you can open it, the Frankenstein tool, or you can just use an Excel document to save all the duplicates. So use, okay. So you can use the Frankie's tool to, to sieve it up and to get whatever you want. But you can also go back, pick another book. Even here, frequently bought together, you can pick another book here and see its cerebral. 
is a, a, a like score. So we're going to do another book for this presentation. Or let's change a book. Okay, let's change another book for you to see. So Amazon, let's look for logbook. Sales logbook. So we're going to like look at sales order book. So let's look, we look for books that are um, ranking in the first page here. So these are all like books, but they don't fit our score because these are like something cheat cheats, light cheats, sales log. This logbook for business. So we're looking for a logbook so that we can use that for the example also for you to see a different perspective apart from the so this is sales log. Okay, so this is a sales log. You see the BSR, if it is okay, then we'll use it. So let's just use the sales log because it's in the first page and the, okay, the sales density is too high, but we still use it because of this presentation. So it simply means it's not selling much, but we want to get SBSR. So we'll pick, as usual, we'll pick the ASIN. That's what we call the ASIN. Then we come here, since we have another chance, we we'll just get the keywords, boom. You're gonna get all your, the keywords, but then your search for today is over. So I'll teach you how to do another. So you can see this one too has total keywords of five, six, five, and it has organic two, six, nine, three, four, and it's not even sponsored. So the books you think that you see on the search and you feel like top ranking books and you feel like they are being sponsored. No, they have not sponsored them. If they sponsored them, they'll tell us the keywords. So this is also this one that we are seeing. These are the keywords it has. It has some quite good keywords too. So what do you do? You go back up here, export. You export that to Excel and uh, you open that and we use that for our research so we're struggling we're trying to open it okay so it's here so this is how it looks like so it's pretty like the same but it reveals different keywords that you can also use here and you delete the ones that are not selling and you copy ones that are selling much so you can do two books because two books will have like two different books in your niche to get more keywords. So that gives you a variety. So this one, you delete the ones that are not selling because this one, the cerebral score is two, the search volume is 35 per month, and the competing products are like 20,000. That is quite low. So you delete it and you go to the second one. This one can sell more inventory spreadsheet. The cerebral score is 1760. The search volume is 389, and we only have 221 books, which means you can sell here. So you leave this one. You come here, order, order tractor, tracker book. You delete this. Uh, you can leave it based on the number of keywords. This one, 120, and the competing product, 60,000. That's too high. You delete it. You delete the whole keywords because it may not help your book. Order log. You do same for all the ones that are not having having results because it means no one is searching for them. Then you delete, delete, delete them. You delete them. This one is okay. You can see, you can see quite good books here. School keywords like this one. I saw one which was okay. Sales tracker live bling book. It is okay. Three one nine and the search is one nine eight. Competing products. So you can leave it and use that one. And this one also sales ledger. How true is this? So this one sales ledger has like 261 search results every month. It has only 67 people listing for this keyword. So you can also like make some impact on the keywords. So that is precisely how you do your keywords. And once you, you, you like the keywords, all you just need to do is to copy them and find, make sure that you add some of them to your description, not the description, description doesn't make any difference. You add the uh, most 
use keyword on your book title you use that you add some of them to your subtitles then you add the rest to your make sure you fill in the rest in your seven back end keywords and that is how you sell more and i've i did a video about how to fill the seven back end keywords you get to see that so pretty sure that is how you can leverage your and steal your competitors keywords and also rank on top but then amazon will take three months to index your books very well so you may not start selling every month the, the first month you do that even the sales or third month but after the third fourth fifth month you may start making sales because by then amazon has indexed that and once i started using this there are times that boom i'm publishing new books and i use the same principles and i start getting sales instantly but you stop and they index it well and it will continue so thank you for your time. I believe in you and I believe in the power of your dreams. Let's meet again.